In this slide cast, we're just going to go through the drawings that I put on Moodle uh, for the uh, State Highway 16 interchange ramp. Uh, I've only uh, included a few. I uh, haven't given you the whole set because I don't really want to confuse you, but I'll put a few in there. The first thing to note is that um, it's a little bit different from what you had in your project. So for your project, uh, this is the project brief by the way, um, you can see that I circled this this pair here on ramp 1 which is, um, looks like about pair, pair 2 there. Uh, unfortunately the drawings they gave us were for pair 4 which is exactly the same design. Uh, the heights are just different. So if you want to make an assumption, assume that the height is 12 metres from the ground to the underside of the crosshead and then we're alright. The design we've got here is alright so just use that design. Um, don't get confused that it's shown um, to be um, on ramp 1 there. Uh, just assume that um, it's exactly the same design as what we're showing you here. Uh, going on to the next one, so this is the plan of the whole thing, you can see that there's three ramps there, there's ramp 1, uh, ramp 4 which is what these plans are for, ramp 3 and ramp 2. Now this is a cross section of um, ramp 4, not too much use for you but just note that that's the way it looks. Um, I included it here to show you so you can see the whole thing in cross section. So there's those pairs that we're building with the crossheads and on top of the crossheads is the bridge deck. Uh, when you are looking at these drawings you'll see that there's things like uh, pairs 5 and 6 and I think 9, 10, 11 are all special type of designs. The one you're concerned about is the typical pair which is what this one is here. Forget about this, it's not important to you. It's this left hand detail that is of importance. Notice that um, you are all concerned about up to this level here, up to the top of the crosshead. You're not concerned about this top bit. This is the bridge deck which goes on after the crossheads have been built. So what, what's happening is these um, uh, these super beams, or whatever they call them, are going to be precast, they're going to be shipped to site and then they're going to get dropped on top of the crossheads. Oh yeah, they're called super T's actually. So you can see that each one of those is a T shape so each one of those sections there will be a T and they drop them all um, on top and then they sort of concrete them in. Uh, notice that there's um, three sections to what you're supposed to do. There's the pier, the, sorry the pile which is going down below the ground, there's the pier column and there's the crosshead. You're supposed to do all three of those so if you want to break it down into activities construct the pile, construct the pier, construct the crosshead and then you've got to break each one of those into activities such as um, prepare the reinforcing steel, uh, formwork, um, concreting. Just looking at a picture of it, if I can find it, just move that over. So this is a picture of a, um, just after the, the, the pile has been drilled and you can see that there's steel sort of coming out of it. Now what happened was these are cages and the cage steel sort of extends out of there and then when they construct the, the pier on top of that um, the pier steel and the, the pile steel is um, combined um, is, is integrated with each other so they've got an interface here which they'll put some special grout on to sort of make the interface uh, and then they'll start building the, um, the pier on top of that I think I have another photo here somewhere Here's a picture of the um, a completed one. So they just completed one. This is the State Highway uh, 16 off ramp heading towards um, Great North Road. So you can see the um, uh, what it looks like. And I'm going to zoom in. And it's a, it's a lousy photo. I'm sorry. So you can see that they put the pier in. So the pier's under. The, sorry, the piles under the ground. There's the pier column, and there's the crosshead on top. Now you can see that the crosshead it's not very deep not what you'd expect because what's going to happen is that the super T's are going to get popped on top of that. Now you can see that there's reinforcing sticking out of the super T's, uh, sorry, out of the um, out of the crosshead and what will happen is that the super T, um, the, the beam deck and the this steel will be poured as one so that the uh, crosshead and the, um, the deck are one, uh, one structure rather than sort of being um, 
different structures. Going down. Um, oh, what once more you can see here that the um, the crossheads are also cantered because they're going around a corner. So there's super elevation applied, and that's different for each crosshead. So you need to think about how you're going to do that for your particular project. How you're going to actually pour something which is sort of sloping like that. This is the piles, so these are the piles going down below the ground. Uh, all you need to take out of this is that the piles are a cage, reinforcing cage. So that is spiral, um, spiral reinforcing with some uh, bars going down. You don't need to sort of const um, worry about this too much. All you need to know is, as I said, it is a reinforcing cage that you drop in. Uh, likewise, this one here is just included um, to give you a better idea of what everything looks like. Once again, the typical pier elevation is the one that you're worried about. Uh, and there's a plan showing the whole thing. Uh, this is the reinforcing one. So this gives you a lot of detail about what the reinforcing sort of looks like. So you can see that there's pile cages there and there. So there's two separate cages. There's a cage when they sort of poured the, the, the pile and then there's a cage that went in for the uh, reinforce, sorry, the um, the pair, and then there's a whole heap of reinforcing that goes into the crosshead. Notice that the bit that you're concerned about is just along the top here, but there's more reinforcing all jutting out of there. And once again, that's so they can tie the the bridge deck in with the the crosshead and um, the rest of the pier structure. Uh, and once again, this last one here is just showing some cross sections. Once again, all you need to take out of this is that there's a lot of steel and how are you going to actually construct that steel, especially considering you are 13 metres above the ground. Uh, I will be put posting some more photos online which shows you a sequence, a little bit more detail of, of how everything was constructed. Uh, hopefully you've been sort of recording your own stuff um, as the semester's gone on.